Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to be talking about a little bit of a follow-up to last week's video. So last week I talked about virtual consoles, virtual terminals, and real ones. So I, I got to thinking after the video was done, I was like, well, you know, maybe I should come up with some kind of demo or something. <laughs> and then about, I don't know, that afternoon, I got this email. And so I open it up, and it's from Sci-5. And they say in the letter that, hey, you signed up to be informed when the P550 was released. Well, guess what? It's released. And I'm like, what? Uh, so they did that, and I looked at it, and I thought, well... It looks like they're only going to release 100 of them. I better hurry. So I went over and I, I didn't spend a lot of time looking at the specs, but I noticed that there were some differences. Uh, and I went ahead and placed the order because 100, 100 of those would probably go pretty quick. That was my thinking because all the people that had signed up were getting the same email I was. So, yeah, I went ahead and placed it. It was early access. Should never do that. I know that, but hey, you know, I look. I I uh, I thought, well, geez, this. I, I saw it was coming through Arrow, and I was like, uh oh, here we go again. Shades of uh, Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite uh, development platform. It'll be months before it gets here. So I was like, oh, it's okay. I was just gonna let it go. It, you know, they'll charge me when it ships. The next day, I get a notice that the thing is shipped, and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> and I didn't believe it. I, I, I checked the order. The order said pending. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard this before. So anyway, uh, then it confirms, and uh, then in a couple of hours, it confirmed. So it was on its way. It came a, a, uh, two days later, and... I unpacked it and I looked at it and just briefly looked at it and picked up the manual from the website and thumbed through it, looked at what I needed. So this board is based on uh, Yocto Linux. Yocto Linux is a platform that normally integrators turn to in order to build out a Linux release on a new hardware platform. It has a lot of tools that allow them to do extensive testing and checking and debugging and all. I thought, well, this is probably good, but I realized that this is an embedded platform and this, this wasn't gonna be what I wanted. So I looked further down and it said, Canonical is working on 2404 LTS and they should have it done by the end of the year. Good. So I only have to put up with Yocto for a little while. I could do that. Uh, but there was some caveats. The first caveat was, uh, if you're going to plug into the HDMI port on the motherboard, it ain't going to work. And I thought, uh-oh, well, that's a problem, maybe, uh, because I'm setting up a new board. What do I do if I have to get into it to, you know, uh, do normal maintenance because uh, the network isn't up or it's on the wrong segment or, you know, every there's a whole raft of things that can go wrong during an install. So... Uh, and I'm thinking, well, what am I going to use for a console? And I read further on, and they have this thing called the MCU. And it doesn't, you don't have to be sitting in the room unless you happen to have to change a board or go in and, you know, replace a part because it broke. You have to go on site for that. Sorry, we don't have robots yet. And, and give them time. But I think first, before we jump into that level of detail, let's just talk about what, the, what, what this thing is. So it's called Sci-Fi Premier P550. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a, it's an eight inch by 6.7 inch board, uh, which is about 203 by 170 millimeters. That puts it in a class of form factors called mini DVX. So it puts it between the micro ATX and the mini ITX. Uh, so yeah, it fits in between there, which is good because that means you get a bigger case to work on. And instead of that, uh, yeah, if you've done work on ITXs, uh, yeah, see this hair that's missing up here? That's why. What does it have? It's a quad-core 64-bit Sci-Fi P550. It is a RISC-V machine. It has four level caches. There's three of them are on board each core. So the first one is a 32-kilobit instruction cache. That's per core. There's a 32-kilobit data cache, and that's also per core. 
There's a 256 kilobit level two cache that's per core as well. And then there's a four mag, uh, four megabyte coherent uh, banked L3 cache, which is shared. Uh, the NPU, which again is not supported by Yachty, supports up to 20 tops, and that's rated at integer eight. 10 tops at integer 16, or 10 tops floating point 16. You should be able to, once this becomes a mainstream product, you should be able to order it in either 16 or 32 gig uh, L of uh, memory. And that memory is LPDDR5, and that's at 6,400 megatransfers a second. They also have 128 gigabyte eMMC. The SD card is on the carrier board, and so is the SATA port. There's one uh, connector on the on the on the carrier board. There's a uh, it is a 15 watt TDP, although I have seen watt wattage as high as 19. Uh, so since the since the HDMI cable isn't working, what do you do? In their documentation, they have a number of of boards graphics processors that they have tested that work. And those are the AMD RX 550, the AMD RX 580, and the AMD RX 6400. Those range in price from 89, currently, currently, from $89 up to about 140 US. So yeah, and, and then they have the power supplies they have tested uh, with the board, they have indicated that there are some power supplies that have had issues. This is kind of my pros and cons. Let's just go through the, the, let's go through the negative side first, and then I'll leave you with the positive. So Yocto is, Yocto, Yocto or Yocto, it's an embedded Linux toolkit. And again, it's designed for integrators, people that are building hardware that want to put Linux on it for the first time. That's what it's designed for. You know, you might go, well, gee, you know, Linux, Linux from scratch, wouldn't that be just as good? Yeah, probably. The other con is the architecture now is two years old. And the other con is this is a different spec from the original P550. Again, not a big deal. I mean, yeah, it might seem like a big deal, but it's not to me. It, it might be to you, uh, and, and that's fine. The faster, the better, and uh, all the competitive chips are operating way above that. They're up in the uh, up near the six gigahertz mark today. So yeah, they're, if they're gonna if 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 they're planning to build a system, they're gonna need two things: cores and speed on those cores. Now they have that. Sci five hasn't been sitting on their hands waiting for the Pi five fifty to release. They have they have done work on the uh, on the P650 that was released the very next year, in 2023. There's also a 670 variant to that. They also have there's the 870, uh, which are all uh, high end processors. The only one of which is the one they just announced, which is the 870D. That one won't be out till next year. That is a 256 core machine, which I'm sure will be expensive. Uh, but yeah, that's coming. So pros, the MCU uh, offers system administration remotely. I think that's great. You can upgrade your Wi-Fi because you can just unplug whichever module you have and upgrade your Wi-Fi to whatever you need. And I think that's great. Uh, it has a, a, a small form factor, but it's not so small as to be an ITX. So the other one is the uh, fans are pretty quiet, at least the ones that aren't in the case, but that's nothing to do with uh, with uh, with the board. The, the board the, the cooler they supply is great. I have pinned those processors for a long period of time. I do not see a rise in temperature above 38 C. But, you know, there's not a lot of power going through them either. So they, if you only got at maximum th uh, speed through there, there's only, I only the maximum I've ever seen is 19 watts. This is not going to generate a lot of heat. The fans are pretty quiet on the ones that are supplied. The fans that came with the case, eh, not so much. They sound like rattle traps. They're uh, obviously, they're ball bearing design, which those aren't my favorite fans, and they but hey, the case was cheap. What am I complaining about, right? I mean, I could probably spend as much on the fans as I did for the case. 
I don't have a lot to tell you about the performance or a personal a rating on this just yet. So I'm not ready to talk about that. And I, and I think that we should table that discussion until sometime down the road. Um, as far as what I've been doing with it, well, I started working on it two days ago on Sunday and as the parts came in and started kind of getting everything put together in the case. And then Sunday night, I went through and visually checked everything that I did to make sure that everything was connected and I wasn't going to let out the magic smoke. Sunday night, I, I powered up the, uh, the Linux and started bringing it, playing around with it a little bit. Got used to how the MCU works and found some bugs. Right now, all I want to do is is go through very carefully and start looking at what packages are are coming with it. What do I have and what do I need? What are my gaps? The only way to that you can install packages on this right now is to go get the source code and and compile them until we get a repo that is set up with actual um, RISC five architecture is in it. So Debian has one, but I mean, I'm a little reluctant to just go pull their packages forward into here. So yeah, I'm going to the actual, this is, Yocto uses DNF and RPMs. So I'm just going to the RPM library. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Uh, I I hope you enjoyed this this discussion. I I didn't prepare anything. I'm just talking to you. I hope that's okay if I ramble a little bit. I have a tendency to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next time with maybe some more news. Who knows what will happen this week. I mean, we are in October. And tech usually comes fast in October. Bye for now.